Welcome to this video on how to set up a radio controller for an FPV simulator. Congratulations, you've discovered the fastest way to get started in FPV by buying a radio like this Radio Master TX16S and getting an FPV simulator like Velocidrain. You've come to the right place and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Radio Master TX16S controller to fly in the Velocidrain simulator. Welcome to Build and Fly FPV. I'm JR and on this channel my goal is to help people get into and progress in FPV. So let's get right into it. We're going to set up our radio for Velocidrome um, and to do that we're going to power on. What we're going to do is we're going to go and create a model. Okay and to do that we're going to long press on the scroll wheel and click model select. This will bring us to this um, uh, screen here where we can page uh, back so you can scroll uh, from templates to uh, helicopters to aircraft. All right, uh, pick any of these, doesn't really matter. And we are going to create a model. Um, I generally, you can use quad, um, but I generally back out of this. So we return out of that and um, we get to our model. So if we click model, uh, we can uh, start putting in a name for this. So click enter and you can put, um, I don't know, sim or velocidrone or whatever you like. Long press to get it to... Uh, caps and come out of that. Um, if we scroll right down to the bottom, what we need to do is set our, we need to set our internal RF to off. We're going to set it to off as we're not connecting to a quad. Uh, external RF is off as well. Uh, that would be on to crossfire for, for our quad. But for the purposes of this, we're going to set it to off. And that is about it. So then we'll come out of there. We've created a model now. Um, internal RF off, external RF off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, connect up our USB. OK. And in this case, we're going to use, uh, use it as a joystick. Um, and then we can continue to Velocidrome. So now that we've set up our radio with a, a model to use with Velocidrome, we can use our transmitter like any other joystick connected to a PC, like an a Xbox or PlayStation joystick. Um, so the next thing to do is to fire up Velocidrome. And if you don't have Velocidrome yet, just go to uh, their site, www.velocidrome.com. Click on the download here and you'll come to um, a, a screen that uh, will allow you to register, register, log in. Um, I'm, I'm already logged in here. Um, so log in and um, you will then just download the, uh, the version for your operating system and then install it and you will uh, be able to fire up Velocidrone after that. So we're in Velocidrone now, and the first thing we need to do is check uh, that our controller is working. So we'll hit controller, and we can uh, see the joystick up at the up at the top left here, the TX16S or whatever your your <coughs> radio is that you're using. If for any reason you don't see the controller there at all might be that you've got the drivers set in correctly um, for your radio. So with your radio plugged in, uh, if you go to the control panel, uh, hardware and sound, devices and printers, you should see uh, your joystick there, but they may have the wrong drivers. Um, so if you right click and go properties, um, you'd need to change that to um, USB input device. Um, the other thing you can do here is you can actually have a look at the game controller settings 
um, you can see it's, it's registered that there and go into properties and you'll actually see the, the controller there and you can move your throttle, your yaw and just check that everything is working correctly there. Um, you can see that if you throttle up, you'll see the props move, throttle down, they stop. Okay, you can roll to the right, to the left, and pitch forward, pitch back. You can uh, yaw. Now you can see here, uh, I'm actually yawing to the left there, and it's yawing to the right, so that's incorrect. Um, and we have throttle. So the yaw is wrong. Um, and if you don't see any, any stick movement, or you don't see anything, on the, a move on the quad or you see the assignment is correct so in this case as I said the yaw is incorrect um, you can go in and assign your sticks so let's follow the sticks here uh, into the sticks move the roll stick move the pitch stick move the yaw stick move the throttle stick okay and we should now see that it's correct so we're yawing to the left uh, yawing to the right throttle up throttle down pitch forward pitch back right got that right got that right so everything is correct now all right it can be a bit little bit tricky um, a bit sticky <laughs> but eventually you'll get there if you you keep doing this assigned stick movement thing um, don't worry about these. You can change your camera angle uh, during play and, and assign a race start. Uh, well, you'd actually have to assign, assign a race start, but um, there's a button for that, so I wouldn't bother with any of this at the moment. Um, next thing to do is to click back, click out of that, and we can go to options, have a look at the options here. So we've got main settings here. Um, just check your languages in English. There's not much to change here. Um, uh, you can set camera VTX noise. I'd, I'd set that to, to zero for, to begin with. If you don't want any um, VTX noise, which is gonna sort of uh, make more of an analog blur on your screen, um, don't worry about that. Music volume, you can turn it up. I like to have that off. Um, sound effects. Um, that, that yeah that'll do various things motor volume so motor volume uh, when you well you'd have to be in play but that'll go up gate sound uh, not much just check you're in mode two obviously uh, wouldn't worry anything about anything else there screen settings uh, is a bit quite important so you've got the quality level um, here depending on the performance of your machine you know how, how how good a graphics card you've got you can change that from fast to low to you know whatever screen resolution just make sure you've got that to the correct resolution of your screen full screen or windowed you can have there vsync you can keep on uh, keep that to that nothing else to change there you can disable all of these kind of things like uh, motion blur high quality trees you can turn that to off um, if you've got a low end, lower end computer uh, all of these you can turn off if you want fisheye camera I wouldn't do that um, dynamic sky no birds and butterflies yeah you, you can play around with these anyway um, so we're not applying any settings there. Quad settings here, um, camera field of view, I'd probably put that at um, about 110. It's nearly there already, 110. Um, not much else, trails enabled, false. You can, you can play around with all of these things. There's nothing really uh, to worry about too much here. So we come out of that and <clears throat> then we're pretty much away to the races here just click single player uh, choose your quad so i've got the badger there uh, you can select the quad select an empty scene day to begin with maybe go for pylons pylons here um, and select that scenery so go down and um, yeah you can you can just play around here i mean um, don't worry too much about uh, rates and PIDs at the moment, as I said. Um, 
can change your scenery and your track from here. You can change uh, your quad settings. Um, again, to begin with, I wouldn't worry about uh, any of this really. Uh, you can actually change your camera angle here as well as um, I think it's, was it in here, camera angle doo -doo -doo, is page up, page down. You can see there, so you can actually do that uh, with page up, page down. I'd keep this to low, I would keep that to the normal 27. Once you get to be a more precision, uh, proficient pilot, you can go put your camera angle up to, you know, uh, 38, 38, 40. Uh, but for the moment, keep it like that. And uh, yeah, just go and have a fly. Um, I, I'm on rate, okay, you, you, you'll probably change that to angle. Uh, as I said, keep away from horizon. Um, so I'm on rate there and uh, there we go, boom. And have a fly. And if you're already keen to get started in FPV, then head over to Build and Fly FPV, where you'll get access to a free course on getting started in FPV. It's packed full of valuable information, including how to get flying in the simulator, and you'll get started right away. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like what you've learned today. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get more tips and tricks and information on getting started and progressing in FPV. And drop me a note in the comments to let me know if this was helpful and what you'd like to know about getting started in FPV. Take care. I'll see you soon.